Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amaryllis and today I am going to talk about my favorites. Um, some things that I've been loving the past like two months or so. Um, some of the things are fairly new, some of them um, I had shown in a haul that I did. So just wanted to give you my update, what I thought about the products and all of that. So let's get right into it. So first I guess I'm going to start off with makeup. Um, and the first item that I want to talk about is the IT Cosmetics CC Plus. Um, it has SPF 50 and it's in the color tan. At first when I bought it and I applied it with a brush, um, I felt like I got really oily quickly um, and I didn't like it. And I was just like, this looks too dark for me. But then um, since I've gotten tan throughout the summer, I have really actually been loving it and it's great that it has a uh, SPF of 50 so I wear this during the day I actually have it on now and what I do is instead of putting it on with a brush I think um, I tend to put on too much with the brush I just take one pump squeeze it in my um, hands like in the tip of my fingers rub that together rub it into my skin and like pat it and it just looks so much better it looks like my skin pretty much um, it's just like a light layer just to like even out my skin tone and then I um, set it with powder. Um, I don't really have a favorite uh, setting powder right now. So I either go between my Bare Minerals um, powder, which is a powder foundation, and I dust that lightly over my face, or I take the NYX, no, it's the NYX. Um, yeah, the NYX uh, HD powder um, that I showed in another video. It's not really my favorite, so that's why I'm not showing it. Um, but yeah, I really actually have been enjoying this. So I bought a few MAC items um, and I mentioned it in the haul that I did previously. And uh, I bought a few eyeshadows and I wanted to share with you my thoughts on the eyeshadows. And I actually have been loving all of them. But I would have to say probably my favorite eyeshadow is this one here. And what is this color? It is called Coppering. And I have just been loving this. Um, color I actually have it on my eyes today and this is the color here and yeah I mean I just like it it's like a nice coppery berry kind of tone color which I think suits my complexion and my eyes and all of that so yeah um, I have really been loving that color and uh, all the other colors but that's like my favorite and then another color eyeshadow that has been my favorite and I haven't mentioned it in a long, like in any of my videos, because I don't really talk about makeup as much. But this color I really, really love. It's called Coco Bear from Makeup Geek, and it's just a basic brown, but it's like a warm tone brown, and I just love it in like my crease. Um, sometimes I just put this all in my like eye area and stuff, and it just gives me like I feel like a sultry like look to my eyes um and i really just like it um so that is coco bear from makeup geek and then another like i guess beauty product that i've been liking is the mac turquatic uh perfume and let me just spray it because i don't have anything on right now um uh, it just smells kind of like musky and just i don't know it, it reminds me of like a makeup store and I don't know, I feel like I might be so basic like wearing this, but I just really like it for an everyday scent. It lasts a long time on me, like practically all day. I can still smell it, which I really, really enjoy and I love. Um, so I've been enjoying that. Another perfume that I really like, and I can wear this during the day, but because it's so expensive and luxurious, it's a Versace perfume. I got this actually for Christmas. Uh, my dad bought it for me as a gift, and it's the Eros. Uh, Versace perfume look at this bottle like can we just admire it's so cute and it smells really really good it's a little bit more like nighttime sexy scent but it is kind of quite light compared to um, my ultimate favorite nighttime um, perfume is body by Burberry I always repurchase that perfume I'm staring at it. it's on my van uh, like my uh, dresser over there and I love that one it's really sexy and it's a stronger smell but this one's like a little bit lighter so this one I like to wear kind of even sometimes during the day so that's another product that I just really like um and then more beauty items I'm gonna do like face items my skin has been 
really good. I was breaking out a lot and in some previous favorite um, videos I have mentioned um, proactive and I stopped using proactive because I just felt like my skin needed a break and those are harsh you know chemicals that I'm putting on my face to clear the acne and I and I had cleared the acne so I wasn't like breaking out as much and everything so I just needed something a little bit more subtle soft on my skin more gentle and so one of my friends she actually sells um Arbonne um I don't know if you guys ever heard of Arbonne but um it's a company where you know you buy the products through a consultant and so I had tried out a few items from her and I really enjoyed um, the products. So I ended up buying some products myself. So the two that I really have been enjoying is the Smoothing Facial Cleanser. And this is like um, part of their anti-aging line. Um, I don't necessarily have wrinkles yet, but I do want to prevent um, having wrinkles when I'm like much older. Um, I'm going to be 29 soon, so I'm not like super young but I am still fairly young and I think it's a great time to start using um, beneficial products for your skin so that you can you know stay young and beautiful for longer um, so I really like this it's gentle on my skin um, it removes my makeup and I just like it and then I love love this it's the oil absorbing day lotion and it has an SPF of 20 so this is my everyday uh, moisturizer and I am oily. I'm an oily girl and I should have mentioned that earlier when it came to the um, to the foundation, to the CC cream um, because if you don't set it, it, you can get oily but this um, helps to mattify my uh, face and it works really well under makeup every day. I don't get as oily with this using this um, moisturizer so I love this. This is Number one, my favorite, favorite thing from Arbonne, especially the um, items that I have tried. And someone's walking by my window. This is awkward. <laughs> Hello. She just, ah, that was so awkward. She literally just saw me talking to a camera and waved and stared into my bedroom. Thankfully, my bed is done. Anyway, let's keep it going. Another item that I really have been enjoying I keep saying enjoying an item that I like I have been loving for a long time and I don't think I've ever mentioned it I might have but I don't remember and it's for when I do get a breakout this helps to minimize it make it smaller dry it out and it is the drying lotion from Mario Badescu and it has like um, a liquid on the top I don't know if you can see and then like a thicker lotion I guess on the bottom oh, it's called a pink sediment at the bottom and so you just dip a cotton swab into it you don't mix this you dip it into the pink part you get that out and you dab it onto any pimple that you may have and it helps to shrink it it helps to dry out that disgusting but like the pus um, so this is really helpful my go-to I have been using this for a long time I love it so I only have one product that I have actually been loving for my hair recently. Um, I really, really, I keep saying this in every video, I need to branch out. The thing is, is that I don't want to go and buy like Garnier Fructis. Like I, I see their products in the, so, in the stores and like I want to buy it. But it's like I have been trying to stay away from parabens and phthalates and just like all those harsh chemicals. That's why I like... Like it cosmetics, it's you know very basic um, ingredients. Two, two ingredients in it: um, sunscreen and a tint. You know, um, and it's just more natural products. Arbonne. That's why I bought these products. They're they're pricey, but it's better for my skin and for my body. So these are vegan products. I should mention that. These are vegan products. Not everything do I use are all organic or vegan or anything like that. But I try to be as conscious as I can for my body and my hair. So Diva Curl is the same. It is paraben free, silicone fee free, sulfate free, and that's why I just continue to use the products because they work wonderful on my hair and they're free of all those chemicals that I don't want in my products. So that's why it's kind of hard for me to like branch out and use other products. But I am. I'm going to do more research and find more products. And, you know, here and there I dabble with some products that aren't 
sulfate free and silico free and all of that. Um, but for now, this is what I like and um, it is the frizz free volumizing foam. I did a video, I think I did two videos using this product um, because I really like it. Um, it's just quick and easy and I'm almost done. So I'm most likely going to be repurchasing this because I really actually enjoy it and their light defining gel is awesome. So for the curly girls, I think even for like if you have wavy hair, this is so like lightweight that I feel like it will work so good on wavy hair. Um, so if you have wavy hair, definitely let me know in the comments like if you ever use this and if you like it because I love to know. So that's it for like beauty products and I just wanted to mention really quick, I have been loving this choker and I get so many compliments, so many people ask me where I bought it and I got it at Forever 21. I actually bought it at their factory store in Long Beach. Um, there's like an outlet there and I went in and I bought this and I just have been loving it. It's like I want to wear it every day with every outfit and like I wore it one day with like um, an olive green top. It was like the long like you know long dress kind of top it was so pretty and like I just loved the maroon and the olive like it just gave me so many vibes of like fall already I love like fall colors but uh, I'm not ready for no fall uh, weather let me tell you and another fashion item that I have been loving and I think it's so cute and it's totally in it's the dad hat and this one is from the infamous.com um, it's a music group. My brother is actually part of that group and like his friends and they make this hat and they make t-shirts and other hats, beanies, um, sweaters and stuff like that. But I just really like this hat and I just love that it has a peace sign because it's just like, I don't know, so cool and anyone and everyone can wear it. I actually posted a, a photo on Instagram of myself wearing it. I just think it's so cute. It's so in. I love it peace like everyone wants peace in the world don't you so I don't know it's just really cool and I like it and you can get it at theinfamous.com I'll link it down below so if anyone wants to purchase it so yeah this is my last favorite of the month I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up it really lets me know if you're interested in these videos and thank you so much for all your support and people who watch my videos I really really truly appreciate it and if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Then I went to MAC and I have this little bag and I rarely shop there because I don't really like their foundation, the one that I was like um, matched to.